Kevin Durant's a great basketball player. About six, seven years ago, for a long stretch, it was like LeBron Durant, LeBron Durant. They work out together. One and two players in the world. LeBron Durant, Durant, Durant LeBron. Look, look. A lot of people were arguing Durant was better than LeBron. That, that was a real thing like six, seven years ago. Like four years ago. Okay, if you're the first second. I mean, Kevin Durant and LeBron. Now, LeBron came into the league first. But, I mean, good God, as soon as he won the title this year, what was everybody saying? Durant's better than LeBron. We wouldn't say that if any other player in the league won a title. Steph won. We don't think he's better than LeBron. Durant wins a title immediately. It's a, hey, hey, Durant's better than LeBron. No, he's not. But that's okay. But they've been linked together, right? Sort of like Magic Bird. You know, they were always kind of linked together. And uh, so Kevin Durant is one of those guys that he's got rabbit ears. And I see this with media people. I see it with celebrities. I see it with sports stars. And I see it with politicians. They get triggered by random people, random criticism. And it doesn't matter if you're a politician, a celebrity, a media person, or a sports star. It all comes down to insecurity. You're triggered by what bothers you. There is a grain of truth in it. It's why it bothers you. Meryl Streep is the best actor in America right now. Jack Nicholson was. Now it's Meryl Streep. She doesn't get into Twitter battles. She's really secure. She's the best actor in the last 10 years in the world. She's good in everything. She can play older, younger for 30 years. She's been unbelievable. She's been nominated 20 times for an Oscar. It is the dream of everybody in Hollywood to get nominated once. She's been nominated in, what, four decades. Jack Nicholson, similarly. I think he's been nominated more than any male actor. For about 35, 40 years, Jack Nicholson was good with Dennis Hopper. He was good with Tom Cruise. He was good with everybody. When people, I've said this before, measure criticism by people's reaction to it. If they react, there's a slice of truth. Otherwise, hey, George Clooney, you're ugly. Yeah. San Diego stinks. Ever been there? No, it doesn't. But if you say Cincinnati stinks, go to Twitter, see how they react. Okay, so let me go into Kevin Durant. There is a certain truth about Kevin Durant's career, and Kevin knows it, is that he was in OKC for nine years. He and LeBron, best player who it is, nine years. One final. One and three in the Western Conference Finals. When he went to Golden State, he was trying to erase the Kevin Durant can't win. But for a long time, LeBron and Kevin Durant LeBron started delivering, winning finals, getting to him, and Kevin Durant didn't. Kevin Durant, a few years ago, had a 3-1 lead on this great Warrior team and blew it. The same year, LeBron trailed 3-1 to this Warrior team and beat him. The separation of KD and LeBron. When it's all said and done, my guess is KD will be closer to Dirk than LeBron when it comes to legacy. KD has rabbit ears. Why? Because there is a certain basic, fundamental, yet uncomfortable truth that he had to join arguably the greatest team that had already won titles before him to win. And we said that when he joined Golden State. The only downside to this would be he won't get as much credit as he deserves because they've already won without him. They were setting records without him. They were never losing at home without him. They invented the three without him. They had all-stars without him. They beat LeBron without him. So the reason he's overreacting is there is a basic percentage of truth in his legacy. He's awesome, but there was a time when it was KD and LeBron, and LeBron pulled away. And, of course, as a hyper-competitive person, athletes will never admit this, but they keep score. Remember when we saw that text with Tom Brady and Peyton Manning to Flategate? Remember when we saw that text? Mm -hmm. And Tom Brady's like, uh, I still got 10 years to go. Bye-bye, Peyton. Oh, yeah, they keep score. Big politicians keep score. Actors keep score, media keep score, superstar, billionaire, sports stars keep score. Hi, everybody, and thanks for watching. We want you to subscribe here. 
here to get the latest from the show. Also be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.